It's time for another edition of Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BB3D channel. Last week we made our printer cooler by replacing the parts cooling fan with a 3D printed duct and a 50 millimeter blower. But our printer needs to be cooler. How much cooler? It needs to be about 20% cooler. So this week we're going to be replacing the fan on the cooling block with a 3D printed duct and, you guessed it, another 50 millimeter blower. Stick around and I'll walk you through it. I'm Brian and you're watching BB3D. So the end result is going to look like this. It's okay that the blower sticks out on the left side of the extruder. It's far enough forward that it clears the left side of the frame. Like last time, we're using a 24 volt 50 millimeter blower. And again, like last time, you may need to swap the wires in the connector to get the correct polarity. We're also using the EIII cooling duct. And we're going to use an M4 by 20 millimeter screw and a nut. Now we'll get the blower mounted on the duct. There's a little channel on the duct where the blower's power cable can route. Go ahead and insert the blower into the duct and route the cable through that little channel. Then insert the nut into the holder. And add the M4 by 20 screw. Go ahead and get it tightened down a little bit. Make sure you use the right driver. And there you go. Right here is where all the nice cool air will come out and blow across the heat sink. And here's our cable routed properly and that's held in place. Now let's get to work on the extruder. We're going to remove the screws here and here. Now these screws not only hold the fan to the heat sink, they also hold the stepper motor in place. So you may need to support that as you remove the screws. Go ahead and take the little black spacers off and remove the screws. Then you can hang the fan across the back just to keep it out of the way. So here's the duct and you can kind of see where the heat sink is going to go. There's a nice big opening for it. And you don't need those little spacers anymore because spacers are built right into the duct. Take those long screws that we removed from the extruder earlier and insert them into the duct. Now we can start to get the duct and the blower mounted back onto the cooling block and the extruder stepper motor. Go ahead and get those lined up and tighten them down. Around the back of the printer, we'll remove the screws here and here so that we can remove the ribbon cable and gain access to the little wiring box behind the extruder. Get those screws pulled out, then you can remove the ribbon cable and set it aside. Finally, remove the black cover and set it aside as well. Now that we have access to the wiring, let's go ahead and get that fan unplugged. You may need to untangle a few wires to be able to see what you're doing, and that's fine. Go ahead and unplug the fan, uh, just to make sure you know where it goes. It's the middle connector right here on the right side. Go ahead and plug the blower into its place, and then we can proceed to put the covers back on. Let's go ahead and get the cables neatened up, and then we'll get that little black cover in place. Now we can reattach the ribbon cable holder Go ahead and get those screws put into place. And get them tightened down. Make sure they're nice and snug. And then we can plug in the ribbon cable. There we go. Finally, we will turn the printer on to make sure that the blower works. It's alive! <laughs> So we're at the end of another Monoprice Mod Mondays. This time around, we have improved the cooling efficiency of the upper part of the extruder. And that's where the cold block lives. Down below the cold block, you've got the heater block and the nozzle. I don't have a heater block here to show you, but this is the part that's normally wrapped in that yellow Kapton tape. And then you've got the nozzle attached to that. 
Normally, you've got the heater down here and that heats up the filament in the nozzle, but you want a very distinct melt zone for the filament. You don't want it getting kind of rubbery and stretchy all throughout this tube. So normally you've got the, the tube that the filament goes down in and you want the filament to melt down here, but you don't want it melting up in here. So when you're doing retraction moves and stuff like that, you wanna be able to pull on the filament and have filament come up and not just stretch out uh, rubbery filament. So what we're doing is we are cooling this block better than we were before. Previously, that block just had the 40 millimeter fan and it had the heat sink sitting up against it. And that moves air across the heat sink. The heat sink draws heat out of the cooling block and that keeps that whole area cool. But now we've got a blower on there moving a lot more cool air across there. The other thing that we're helping to cool a little bit is the stepper motor because the stepper is attached to the other side of that cooling block. So by running a lot more cold air across that heat sink, we're able to wick heat both out of the cooling block and out transfer heat out of the stepper motor and kind of keep that a little bit cooler than it was before. This is the part of the video where I say things like like, subscribe, share, and comment because all of those things help the channel. If you would do me a favor, please, if you have not already subscribed, please do so by clicking the BV3D icon right over here. And over here is a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy watching. Well, that's it for me. I've got more cool things to print and you print something cool too.